Hey, hello. You're with Wolf Grove, Humans Riffing, and IT and IT Security. Today, looking at the recent request from the FBI to reboot our router. So we all know the drill. You go home, contacted by a family loved one. You're at their house, and they're like, hey, the internet's work, not working. And you find this little dusty box plugged off in the corner, and you reboot it, and the internet works. You're, like, You're a hero. <laughs> But what you might not know is that also apparently defeats malware. The FBI sent out a notice a couple days ago asking home users to do one of two things. One, easy mode, reboot your router. Two, a little bit more complex, change the passwords and update the firmware on your router. Why? Because they're noticing a lot of malware and a lot of attacks coming from home infrastructure. The tip for you is this. If you're running home infrastructure, reboot it <laughs> regularly. And of course, keep it updated and keep the password changed. So why is this a problem? Well, obviously, routers are set up by default to make it easy. It's the quintessential security versus usability debate that we always have. It's made easy to plug in. It's made easy to maintain. Oftentimes, the passwords are very, very simple so that home office can control these things remotely. OK, you can kind of see that point. The second part is because it's so easy and because it's often defaults and because it's very rarely patched, attackers will create malware and go after these things and go after it in such a way that, uh, that they leverage those systems to go ahead and build botnets, um, do denial services, yada, 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 the list goes on and on and on. So we're in a situation where we're trying to make tech very usable by lowering security because the technology has lower security, we've now made it very attackable by the criminals. And so we ask something as simple as, can you reboot it? Can you update it? And people don't even do that because it's like, wait, what if it doesn't come back? <laughs> what if it doesn't work afterwards? So we begin to look at this infrastructure and wonder, how can we make these things a little bit more resilient? How can we make these things a little bit more um, less independent on users, still easy to use, but automatically securing, right? How can we make it so that when these things set up, they're in a more secure state? And of course, this is home infrastructure, and most of you who watch this are running in your organizations and working on enterprise security. So those same concerns, those same thoughts, have to apply to the apps we build for our end users. If we can't get people to reboot a router, how are we going to get people to update their phone apps or use anything else? that we're creating. We're in this weird time where I would argue security moving forward is gonna be about creating highly usable products, right? Embracing user design and user design principles as a means for reducing the attack surface and reducing the number of infrastructure components the attackers can go after. Strange days, strange days. What do you think? Uh, what do you think is a good solution to this? Comment social media, hit me up.